Alrighty, good morning. I literally just thought I recorded this entire workout and then realized the camera wasn't on. So I'm gonna show it all over again. I'm actually sweating right now. Um, so here is your Wednesday morning workout again. Um, it's, it's upper body, it's chest and back with a little bit of core. Um, so this one we're gonna start with a nice little warm up. Again, here, I'll show you what everything is first. Ooh, if I can get it in there. There you go. Okay. So let's try this again now that the camera's actually on. Um, first off, Christ. Uh, we're just gonna start with uh, 15 arm circles each direction. So again, just going one way. Again, trying to keep your core tensed up as you do this. So it's not just throwing your body all around too. And try to do nice, big, you start smaller. Work your way bigger as the shoulders kind of warm up a bit. 15 one way, 15 the other. Should hear some pretty good little cracks and pops in there. Um, again, always smart to start smaller and you can work your way bigger. 15 each direction, uh, then 15 standing flies. And that one is just basically arms straight and you're just getting nice and wide. Should feel, again, keeping the core tight. Should feel a good stretch in the chest, a bit of shoulders maybe too. Uh, so 15 of each of those, three times with no rest. Let's just get everything moving, make sure the shoulders are warmed up. Uh, then we are looking at uh, 15 push-ups. Again, with those regular push-ups, if you want, you can elevate them on a coffee table, a countertop, uh, the edge of a couch, whatever you need to. I prefer you elevate them over going from your knees. It just keeps your form more like a real push-up. Uh, make, basically making sure your core is active. Um, or if you have dumbbells, feel free to use those. Do a chest press as well. Good with that. Um, so again, just go for 15 push-ups. Making sure your arms aren't out in front. You actually want them in line with your chest. Up and down. For 15. Uh, then this is the part. Oh, shoot. Um, I said this the first time. Pause it for a sec. Um, you'll probably listen to this before you actually start anyway. But you're gonna need two books, ideally of the same size, and uh, your dumbbells or a resistance band or a towel rolled up so it's just long and thin. Um, so if you wanna grab those, go ahead before we start this whole thing. Um, but again, starting with push-ups there. Then we're going into your book pec push-outs. <clears throat> So again, just looking for two books, about the same size. Um, when you grab these books, we've done this with plates before at the gym. You want your hand to be flat. You don't want to be trying to grab it. Nice and flat on both sides. And your goal here, keeping your chest out. You want to be pushing your palms together as hard as you can the whole time. Keeping it just about shoulder, or not shoulder, right? chest height or even a little lower. And you're trying to squeeze your palms together really hard especially at the very outside. Try not to let your crunch over like that. Keep your chest up and out. And again, the goal is that you're pushing your palms, your hands together the whole time, going for 15 reps of those. Um, should feel that in your chest pretty aggressively, actually, if you're, if you're pushing hard. Um, then we're going for 15 dips. Um, you guys all know what dips are, but I'll show you anyway. Boop. So again, I'm using a coffee table. You can use a chair. Um, that's about it. Coffee table or a chair. Or the, again, arm of a couch, something like that. Anything you have. Um, palms on there. Keeping the chest out. Trying to keep your butt close. Um, again, if, if keeping your legs straight is too hard, you can bend your knees. Makes it a little easier. But trying to keep that chest out. You should feel that in your triceps, probably a bit of chest too. Uh, if that bugs your palms or your shoulders, um, what you can do is even use the books we just used and you can do 15 tricep kickbacks um, or if you have light dumbbells, uh, you can do it with those as well. Um, that just won't bug your shoulders as much. Uh, then in this same round, you're gonna go for 10 cross body toe touchers. 
So that one is when we're laying down. Again, you're doing a full sit up, reach, touch, opposite toe, up, touch, up, touch. We're not just going like this and bringing your foot way up. You are sitting up all the way, 10 each side. Keeping your chin tucked, that's for Tracy. Um, she can do that one and she can do this one. I don't know if she'll get that or not. Um, so again, that round, you're doing your 15 push-ups, the book peck push-outs, dips, and then your crossbody toe touchers, 10 each side, one minute rest, four times. Uh, so again, now's a good time to pause that. Uh, and I'm just gonna show Tracy to skip this round because of her shoulder and neck stuff that's been going on. Okay, so have fun with that round. Uh, the next round here is where you're gonna need your either dumbbells, resistance band, or a towel all rolled up, uh, whatever you have available. Number one choice would be dumbbells, number two choice would be resistance band, number three choice would be towel. Um, but either way, you'll need a towel because there's two exercises. Um, so the first one, we'll use just a little towel. Hopefully everybody has a floor that, floor that things slide on, I'm hoping. Um, this one is to take place of your straight arm lat pull downs for your lats that we do at the gym with the cable sometimes. Uh, if you have a resistance band, this is perfect for that. If you can hook it up somewhere high and then basically keeping your arm straight, pulling down. If not, this is what we're gonna do. You're basically holding a plank on your towel and then your goal is that you're kind of letting yourself slide out and then pull the elbows back in. And even if it's more your body sliding back and then you pulling forward, that's okay. But you should feel that in your lats pretty good. Uh, you should feel in your core pretty good too, actually. Um, but going for 15 of those. Uh, then right after that, we're gonna do bent over rows. So again, if you have dumbbells, perfect. Grab your dumbbells. Squeezing the shoulder blades together. Um, if you don't have dumbbells, you can do it with a resistance band. One of the longer ones, you would just actually stand on it, grab on, make sure it's fairly tight, then doing your rows. Um, you can also do it with one of the smaller bands, like the little hootie bands that we have at the gym. <clears throat> it's more of a seated row this way, but it still actually works pretty well. You're just gonna wrap it around your feet. Put your legs wherever they need to be so there's some tension. And then from there, squeezing the shoulder blades together, back out. Allie, you're kind of in the way. Look out. Good girl. Okay, so chest out, squeeze the shoulder blades together for 15. Or if you don't have any of those things, we can use a towel. It's just going to be static. So you'll just have a towel I've rolled up so it's nice and thin, grab each end, standing on it. And again, this one still bent over, core tight. Um, and you're just gonna be pulling on the towel, like try to squeeze your shoulder blades together. Relax, pull, relax, pull for 15. So again, it should still feel that in your back, it's just gonna be static so you're not moving, but it should still work well. You just have to focus more on feeling those muscles working. Um, so 15 bent over rows in any of those styles. Uh, then we have 15 back widows. It's a little weird. It works okay. Um, basically it takes place of a row as well. So your idea is, make sure you can see me, you're laying down. You can put your feet wherever you need to be. You can either be flat or knees bent, either one's good. Again, just tuck your chin so you're not pushing with your neck. And your goal here, you're not using your abs here. You're trying to use your shoulders, or uh, shoulder blades, sorry, and you're trying to push back with your elbows. So the goal here is everything's fairly relaxed. And then you are driving your elbows into the floor and coming back down. Drive the elbows back, come back down. You're going for 15 of those. The big thing there is make sure you're not just doing like a sit-up. You're not 
tensing your abs to come up. You're trying to drive your elbows back and squeeze those shoulder blades together. Um, so that one's called a back widow, uh, going for 15 of those. Uh, then after that, going for uh, 10 bicycle crunches each side. So again, that one here, bring an elbow to knee. Going for 10 each side, take a one minute rest and go through that four times, okay? Uh, so again, just to remind you of that round, you got the plank towel pulls. That's when you're in your plank, pulling your body forward and back, uh, bent over rows, back widows, and your bicycle crunches. So once you've done that one four times, then what I'd like you to do, again, a couple options here is 10 to 15 minutes of cardio. If you have more time, 20 is awesome too. Um, and I want you, if, again, if the weather's good enough and if you have the capability of going outside for this, would love it if you would go outside and do 10 minutes of either a walk, run, if you're on a bike, you can do pedal hard, pedal easy, um, or again, if you have a treadmill at home, stationary bike at home, any cardio, elliptical, anything like that, just want you to do either inside or outside, 10 minutes of cardio, one minute, nice and fast, one minute, nice and easy back and forth. If you're outside, that could be as much as um, one minute, good hard walk or jog or run, one minute, nice and light, back and forth, uh, or anything like that. Okay, so that's your Wednesday workout. Uh, stay tuned for Friday, where we're gonna try and do some shoulders, legs, and core. Okay, so we will see you again and again. Like I said last time, miss you guys like crazy. Um, can't wait to get back in there. Uh, we are doing some upgrades to the gym while we're closed, so hopefully.